Hi there, Nathan Patrick Taylor here, and I'm going to show you how to use the drill through feature inside Power BI. It's a really neat feature that lets you take a certain part of a chart and see the underlying data in detail for that particular set of information. There is one minor issue with that functionality right now, though. It doesn't really work for date ranges. There's some controversy right now if that's by design, if it's a bug. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'll show you a workaround to make it function uh, in part, at least until either it's fixed or uh, there's an update to the feature itself. So let's jump over to Power BI and take a look. Okay, so inside Power BI, what I have built is a sample report that's using the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse uh, database as its uh, data source. And I've just got a simple bar chart in here. And what I'm going to do first is kind of work backwards. I'm going to show you the end result, how the drill through functions, and then we're going to completely dismantle it and then rebuild it from scratch. After that, I'll show you a little bit of a workaround for the date range issue that you'll encounter with the drill through right now. So uh, I've got the data from 2013 selected in my slicer. And uh, I have it broken down by the three product categories, accessories, bikes, and clothing. And what I want to do is take a look at the clothing sales for June. So I'm going to right click on that particular part of the bar chart and you'll see a drill through option pops up and it's uh, letting me choose internet sales detail, which is another tab that I have inside my Power BI report. So I'm going to click that. It's taking me over to that particular tab and then shows me just the clothing items that I selected. It's automatically filtered out for me. If I look over on the right side here in the drill through filters, we'll see that just the clothing category is chosen for me. But it did not filter out the date range. So I previously had selected just the data for the 12 months of 2013, January through December, and it didn't filter that out for me. Okay, and I can see that inside the detail here, uh, inside this matrix that I've put on uh, this page, that it didn't filter it. Okay, before I go back and dismantle everything, one, one thing I want to show you is that there is a back button here, and if I hold the control key down, I can go back, and it'll take me to the uh, internet sales summary again. All right, so this back button is uh, is put there automatically. I'll show you once we break it apart and take a look at it, but it automatically gets put on. Uh, I tend to think of this as sort of a drill up and drill down rather than a drill through, so I've rotated it. Uh, by default, it's pointing to the left to go back, uh, but I changed it to a 90 degree angle, so it's pointing up. You also don't have to stick with a default back button. Any image that you drop onto the canvas can be used as a back button. For example, this AdventureWorks logo here, if I click on that, I can use the link option here and turn it on and make it work as if it was a back button as well. So you can put your own custom back button onto the report if you want to. Okay, so let's break everything. Let's delete all of the uh, drill throughs and start from scratch. So I'm going to go back and uh, we'll delete the button. Uh, we'll take the drill throughs here and we'll just knock those out and then go back to the summary. This time when I right click on, uh, on that particular uh, category, which is the clothing category, you'll notice the drill through is gone. It's not there anymore. So what I have to do to get it to work is to go to the tab that I want the drill through to go to and then drop in the fields that I'm going to filter on. In this case, I'm going to filter on the English product name uh, for this uh, data item and that's actually found uh, inside, uh, inside the DIM product subcategory here. So we'll take that particular item. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not, it's just a just the dim category, dim product category, and drop that into a uh, drill through. And you'll see the categories here. And we'll shrink that up. And um, I'm going to do the order date anyway, just so you can see what it looks like. So we'll drop the order date underneath it. Okay, so the, the prerequisites here, now that we're done 
with this piece is if I go back to internet sales summary and I click on that bar chart visual, that bar chart visual must have at least the two items that I want to drill through in the detail. So in this case, it was the product category, which is coming from dim product category and the order date. If those two items aren't on the report, then the drill through won't be able to be completed. In fact, it might not even connect it to that particular page uh, in the report. So now that those two are there, uh, some magic's going on behind the scenes that's telling Power BI, hey, I've got these fields in another tab. This looks, and it's in the drill through uh, feature in that particular page, so it's available. Now, if I right click on that uh, item again, this time June, uh, drill through shows up and it knows that uh, internet sales data also contains those two fields that can be filtered on. You're also not limited to one tab, so if I duplicated this tab and we'll call it, we'll leave it duplicate of internet sales detail, and I go back to the summary and I do the right click again and I do the drill through, the duplicate is there. So it's it's not limited to just one one page. You can go through multiple pages, allow the user to go to different pages and different views of detail if they want to. Okay, so I'm gonna back this duplicate out and we'll get rid of it. And um, we'll just see that it works. So drill through, um, and actually let me change it to accessories. So we'll do accessories this time and see that it is drilling through accessories but the date isn't filtering on here. Um, it also didn't drop in a back button by default. Um, it should do that if you create it the first time I delete it, and that's maybe not why it's there, but if I wanted to create my own back button, uh, that's pretty easy to do. So let's go to the home menu and choose an image here. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna choose a drill up because I tend to think of it that way. And um, we'll just drop it onto the canvas here and then I'm going to go to the link menu and turn it on and say that I want it to go back. So now if I navigate, do the drill through one more time, I'm here, it's filtered. If I hold the control key down and click the button, it takes me back. Okay, so you can use any custom image you want. You don't have to use the one that's by default. All right, so that takes you through the basics of how to create the drill through and get the back button. Now let's do this a little bit more advanced here and do the workaround for the dates. Uh, so if you're watching this when the video is originally produced, this may have been fixed. Uh, if it hasn't been fixed, then this is a way to get around this particular issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple new fields to make this work. And, um, and one of them is to uh, in concept, create an order date that's a text, and then sort that text by a date so that it appears correctly in a drop-down list, and then select the text as what we're going to pass through to the detail report. If that doesn't make sense, you'll see as we build it. So I need a secondary date field here, uh, and uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to create a a new new column in here so we'll click the three dots the ellipsis and we'll say new column and what I want to do is I'll, I'm gonna say uh, order date and um, I'm just gonna call this month year for now and um, I'm gonna make this the end we're gonna use a function called the end of month and um, what I want to do is pull in the order date. So it's just going to give me the the last date of that particular month in which the order occurred. Okay, we'll take that in. And then we're going to create a text version. So um, we'll say again, another new column, and I'm going to call this order date, order date, month, year, text. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, I want to take the uh, order date, uh, just the month. So this is going to give me the name, the month name. Uh, and so we're going to concatenate the year onto the end of this. So another and symbol, and we'll do order date, 
and then we'll take the year. So when I'm done, I should have uh, the name of the month, uh, a hyphen, and then the year put onto the end of it. Okay. And uh, then I'm just going to put a slicer on here. And within that slicer, what we'll do is we'll drag in that new order date text that we created. But it won't be sorted. You'll see that. So it's, well, I won't say it's sorted by the way we want it to be sorted. It's sorted, uh, just not in, in a date format. So to fix this, what we need to do is go over to the uh, data tab here and go into the modeling piece and take that new column we created and select it. And then under modeling, choose sort by column and change the sort by column to that other order date month year that we created. Okay. What that's really saying is don't use the sort order of that text. Use the sort or order of a date column that we've created. All right. Go back and now you'll see that it's sorted correctly. All right. And then I'm just going to do a quick rename here. So I'm just going to call this order date, if I could spell it without capital letters, order date. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to just make this a drop down. And it's stuck on single select, so we're going to change this to uh, turn off single select so we can do multi-select. Uh, and then I'm setting this back to all dates and time so I can get this full list here. Okay, so remember I almost wanted to do 2013, so we'll come here January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, we're good. They're down here in my list. Now I need to complete the rule of the pass-through or of the drill-through, which is that this visual needs to contain the fields that I'm going to pass through, and I don't want to pass through the order date hierarchy now. I want to pass through the order date month and text, uh, order date month year in text format. Then I need to go to internet sales and delete order date from here and add order date month year text into this list. Okay. All right, so the rule's complete. What I'm trying to pass through and what I'm filtering on exists in the chart that I'm going to click on and in the detail report as the drill through. Uh, fields. So we should be set. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, and fire it off. So I've only selected in this filter here just 2013 and that's what shows up in this list. It's sorted correctly because I went into the modeling and made it sort. Uh, let's choose a completely different month. So let's go September for accessories. We'll right click on it, drill through internet sales detail and look what we get. It's filtered just for September of 2013, and it's just for the accessories. Okay, so it's a nice workaround. It's not perfect. I'll go back. Uh, for the end user, it, does, it just says multiple selections. It doesn't give us the range. I don't think it's as intuitive and user-friendly, of course, as the slider is, but as, a, as sort of a gap fill until this feature gets fully fleshed out and is functional, uh, this is a way to get it done. Any way that you can make the date be a text and then add it to your chart will work. You don't have to do it exactly the way that I did it. Um, I have some that just list the month um, and the year as a separate item, and it works fine that way too. So as long as you can get it in a text format, it should work. Okay, if you have a different way of doing it, um, another a way through DAX maybe that makes the date filters and drill throughs work a little bit better. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, any other comments that you have about the drill through, um, be great. Love to hear what's going on, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.